better to stay silent and be thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 17, verses 27 through 28. And I started today's video with a quote that apparently no one knows for sure who gets the credit. Some claim Lincoln or Hemingway or Twain, but it is based upon the Proverbs that we're going to be looking at today. Before I read that proverb, let me ask you a question. Have you ever said something and immediately regretted it? Maybe you said something mean and terrible, or maybe you acted like you knew what you were talking about when you didn't, and it was immediately apparent to everyone else. I remember one day when I was driving along in my old Jeep and the check engine light came on, and the passenger that was riding along with me, and I say passenger because I didn't ask my wife first if I could use her as an example for today's story, so my passenger, in all seriousness, suggested that it might be because my Jeep was low on blinker fluid. And if you don't understand the problem with that statement, it's okay. But I want you to take a moment and pause the video, and then just go ask the car person in your, if, in your family if they can help you change your blinker fluid before it goes bad. Go ahead, it's okay. I'll wait for you to be done. All right, if you're now back from your quick break, or if you never left, then I want to continue. Because sometimes we don't seem foolish because of our lack of understanding on how something works. Sometimes we seem foolish because we are unaware of how our words can hurt others. To use myself as an example, I remember being back in school and working on a group project. And one of our group uh, members, she suggested something really stupid for us to do. And without missing a beat, I told her and the group that it was a stupid idea and that we should come up with a better one. While I still believe that the idea was stupid, there was probably a much kinder way to communicate that, and the way that I responded was foolish of me. In Galatians 5, we are given the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. And when we are living out our lives for God and we allow God, the Holy Spirit, to work in us and through us, these are the things that people should see in our lives. And while I do find that God calls us to be kind and good and to show love and to exert self-control, I never see God calling us to prove to everyone else that we are right. Our word for the day, our verse says this, Proverbs 17, verses 27 through 28, a truly wise person uses few words. A person with understanding is even-tempered, and even fools are thought wise when they keep silent. With their mouths shut, they seem intelligent. My challenge for you today is to begin thinking through how you respond to other people. Are you interested in appearing to be a know-it-all? Would you rather show goodness to others? Would you rather win that argument with your spouse or show them true patience and love? After someone says something mean or discouraging, would you rather prove that you have the better comeback? Or would you rather be known for your kindness? As a church, let us be known for our words but let us be known for the way that we use our words to love and encourage one another. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you next time.